Uh, first off, I just want to say rest in heaven to Coach Jerry Johnson, the legendary coach. Uh, he was on my mind today coming to the game, uh, legend in the game, the only coach in the Mid-South that has won a national championship, and I told him I wanted to be like him. And uh, all the nuggets that he gave me, uh, that he passed along, they'll stay, for, stay with me forever. So we lost a legend today. He was 102. He lived a beautiful life. He was driving a car up until 101 years old, so that's amazing in, within itself. So just want to tell his family, my family's, his family's in my, uh, in my prayers. And um, we're just going to, uh, you know, just remember him. His legacy will always live. We'll start with Terry. You're muted, Terry. Hey, first of all, congratulations on getting your 50 wing last game. And you actually put two halves together, but not in the same game. What's the difference between the last two halves you played and what you played a few games coming up into this? Uh, well, the first half of the second half of the – Wichita game, we played together, shared the ball, had the right mindset. The first half, we had 49 points, had a beautiful mindset. Second half, when you get into these blowout games, guys start getting selfish and wanting points. We got selfish, and we didn't really finish the, the game off the way we should. Some guys want to win their way, and we want to win as a team. So first half was team. Second half was more individual, man, and I had to sub a lot because we started getting into that rut. We're trying to win the right way. It'll, it'll repeat itself when you, win the right, when you win the right way. And having SMU coming up, you got to play the game the right way. Danielle? Even with uh, the second half today, Penny, do you feel like, you know, with last game combined with this one, you guys finally have some momentum? Have you felt this way at any point before this season? No, this is I'm, – I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, Danielle, honestly. I've known that we could do this, but then we'll have a half like we did in the second half. Like we'll have a half like we did in the first half. We haven't been able to match two halves up because the kids just aren't – they're not – they're not for 40 minutes fully focused on what we need to do the entire game. For some kind of way, a couple guys will break it off, start playing a separate way, not with the game plan, and you can see that they're on their own agenda. And when we just get all of that squared away, we're going to be better. But I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel for sure. Jason? Hey, Penny, do you want to – try to envision what this team could be when they do finally put two halves together? Or are you trying to steer clear of that? How do you, how do you, how do you treat that? No, I'm, I'm actually visualizing it. I mean, I'm, I, I think about it all the time. You know, how do you get a group of kids from different walks of life who have different mentalities that, that really all want to go to have one dream to make it to the NBA and say, it's okay if I don't have points today, if I just rebound. If I block shots, if I take charges, if I get 50 50 balls, if I'm just a communicator, it's okay. And we can't get enough guys to be okay with that. Most guys got to have points. They start looking at the score clock saying, you know, I, have, I don't have any points or I need more. And it becomes, it becomes selfish at the wrong time. And this was an opportunity to have a beautiful day. A beautiful day, man. We ruined it in the second half. So you're not, you're kind of, you're more lamenting. Uh, what could have been then feeling good about the way things did go? You know, I'm, I'm excited about where we're going. And, and you see that the first half was just like the second half of last game. It was great. But when you got selfish play coming in, you start playing better teams, man, that's going to hurt you. We played the game the right way. I'm satisfied. It's not about the wins and losses. If we're playing the right way, we're going to win. And if we're not playing the right way, we're going to lose. And if you start a half off like that, we lost the second half by four points, I think. Um, yeah, by four points to them. So that meant that we didn't, we didn't come back out with the right mindset. You brought up SMU these next this next whatever it is week eight nine days whatever it is with four games uh, in that stretch. Um, how do you how do you you know are there are you going to change the schedule any are you going to do anything different to the schedule um, to sort of account for that or what's the game plan there? Well, the one good thing is that the last couple of games that we've had have been early games, you know, except for the other night, like on the road, they've been early at Tulsa and today. So we get back home at a, at a, at a good time and that helps a lot as well. We'll practice later in the day, which will help the legs, but we got to go through and just keep working. We just got to keep working. We got to keep grinding. We have not accomplished anything yet. I'm so excited that we're 2-0 and on this stretch where we want to, you know, finish the season off great. We have to continue to just play the, play the game the right way. We have to practice and it's not going to be hard practices, but we're going to get some work done. 
Coach, I know you got to be happy with the 20 assists on the 29 made shots and how you control the boards on a, on a regular basis. So it's even though you're mad at the way it ended the game, but I know you got to be happy with the little things that you've been preaching about all, all game, all season. Yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely excited about the 20 assists, you know, the 21 assists last game as well. But the 17 turnovers are coming from like 10 of those and like I'm forced trying to be selfish. And you can't have that. That's what brings it down a little bit because you know you want to play the right way. If you play the right way, those turnovers aren't even that high, and we scored 15 more points. That's how I look at it. I'm not trying to nitpick everything because I don't want to beat the boys down, but we do work hard enough as a staff to let them understand, to have them understand that you got to play together to win. Two more. We'll start with Danielle. What was your feeling on, on the, the shots that you guys were able to create tonight? Because it seemed like there were times where, you know, there's a lot of drive and kick action going on. Um, some of those, you know, maybe it could have been an easy layup and you went for the three anyway, but some of them seemed like it, it definitely paid off. Yeah, we want those layups for sure. We don't want to throw out a, from a layup with no no contest. Now, we had a couple of those, and we threw out for threes. One we made, one we didn't. And, uh, you know, we want to take all the layups that we can take because we take enough threes. Today we took 25 of them, and about eight, or eight to ten of them were bad shots. They could have been driven and then giving your teammate an opportunity to make shots, and that's what's been our problem as well. We got to make one more pass, penetrate and kick one more pass. And I think that three will keep us at a higher percentage. But, you know, we make it, We made 11 again. Uh, no, we didn't. Yeah, we made 11 again. So that's, that's two games back to back with 11. Last question, Jason. Do you think the way you guys have played these last two games almost is makes you being – you nitpicking um, a luxury? I mean, do you kind of feel like – it's almost a good thing that you that you're nitpicking now because you're you can you can actually do that. There's fewer things to uh, you know to worry about where now you can sort of hone in on the on the on the nitpicks. Yeah, well, we're, we're we've honed in and kind of you know just kind of shrunk the list. We've had a long list at first, and now the list is getting shorter. But now it's effort plays for 40 minutes. You know, the list is shorter on things that we're that we need to do. But now it's effort plays, the way we close out, the charges that we need to take, the rebounds, not giving up offensive rebounds. It's just a group effort of mentality that you got to have. I want us to take on the mentality of the city. We got to grit and grind for the entire 40 minutes and not take any time off. We got a lot of guys. Played every guy 10 minutes or more tonight. That's almost unheard of. You know, the smallest minutes were 15 by, um, by Malcolm. I mean, I'm sorry, by Jaden and then Malcolm and everybody else was 18 and above. That's a luxury. So, yeah, nitpicking everything. It's what I'm supposed to do as a coach. We encourage each other, but we're also supposed to make pay attention to the things that we need to get better at because the better teams that we play are going to come into play.